basically if you were to take a tree and a dinosaur and you buried it for five to nine million years so it was in the absence of oxygen the earth's crust sits between 200 and 400 degrees centigrade so that energy that would come up through the earth's crust would heat the dinosaur up from the tree and turn it into oil gas and coal over five to nine million years what the Hiru does is exactly that same process but takes it from five to nine million years to five hours of pyrolysis Around about 2016, uh, we were notified that there's a company that may want the support of MTC and obviously we met up with Nick, came down, had a look at the device, the Hero device and from there on we've been doing little projects with them ever since. So my first impression of Hero just made absolute sense to me. You know, actually turning material into energy at the location of consumption. Because if you think about what we do today, we actually put plastics and cardboard and nappies and food into recycle bin. But actually there's a CO2 carbon footprint element when you move it from your home or industry into recycling. The issue we've got is that the materials that we're collecting now, there is less and less places to put them. So I think innovation is absolutely essential for us in this industry in particular, as it is with any other industry, to keep driving us forward and looking for better solutions. But those solutions have got to be sustainable. We can't keep making these knee-jerk reactions to actually think we've solved a problem, but actually we're creating a bigger environmental issue than we had before. Innovation is the lifeblood of Siemens. You know, if we didn't embrace innovation in the way we do today, we wouldn't have the capability in terms of manufacturing we have today in the UK. We have 15 manufacturing facilities. We're continuously growing our manufacturing capabilities. So the reason that we continue growing our manufacturing capability is that attitude to innovation and the way we embrace innovation. I think having the support from companies like Siemens is absolutely essential. You feel when you're developing new products that it can actually be weirdly quite a lonely place and um, when you've got support of large organisations like Siemens behind you, it, it just gives you that confidence to keep driving forward um, because you feel as though they would only be supporting you if they believed in what you're doing as well. So Siemens are in the uh, Hero Early Adopter Top 10 list. Uh, Congleton will be taking a Hero. Uh, this is giving uh, the Congleton plant initially a great chance to drive down their carbon footprint um, and to meet their uh, carbon saving targets. And in the long term then this can be uh, rolled out to other Siemens plants where Siemens can help with the future development of Hero. There's a production phase where we can share best practice from our factories. So we've got 170 years worth of experience in our factories and we can share that with the team that are turning the Hero into a commercial entity. So the Siemens technology that we've got in the Hero uh, now, we've got the uh, PLC controller and that's controlling, that's really the heart of the Hero, uh, it's the brain and then we've also got the Siemens uh, display unit on the front of the machine um, that allows that interaction with the customer as well. And then finally, we can help finance as well, so any of their customers that want to use a Hero but want to take it off the balance sheets, we can actually finance it so there's no real cost and the savings pay for the finance. I've grown up in a situation where recycling was always good and, and recycling as an engineer is great. But uh, since working on this project, I've learned that um, HDPE, so high density polythene, and um, PET uh, bottles, like Coca-Cola bottles, they can be easily recycled. But there's so many general household plastics out there that are really difficult to recycle economically. And these are creating a huge, huge problem for the uh, environment. Um, I think uh, if every home was to have a hero, um, this would be a, a big step into tidying up this mess uh, which we're currently in. Mm -hmm.